everybody. So welcome back to my channel, Green Man Grow 7. And today, I'm Sean Knight, your plant prophet. And we have the philodendron royal queen. This baby right here is giving me life. First of all, anybody who has followed my channel knows that these type of plants speak to me. I am on a personal mission to make sure that these get their due. I, I love my Monsteras, I love my Thai Constellation, I have a couple of Albos, I have a Jose Bono, all of the different variegated plants, but I want these type of plants to get their due because they are exquisite to me. It is something about that burgundy petio, the burgundy stem, and the, the stockiness of it with the green leaves. And then as you can see here, you see that there is the green backing with the burgundy veining. It's just exquisite. These things unfurl. I have a, a, a leaf that's unfurling here and a new leaf here that will be unfurling. They come out dark like this. Then they go burgundy. Then they cast down to green. So it's just an exquisite plant when you have the multicolors coming out at different times. You got the one that just unfurled that's dark. You got the burgundy. You have the uh, deep burgundy, and then it goes down to the variegation of the green. This plant is just doing everything that I want it to do. And so I just wanted to feature it because the heart-shaped leaves, how it grows, and these things will grow into a tree if you uh, give them the right light the right nutrients and just give them what they need and keep them in that one little space and they will give you everything that you need to grow big. And so it is my intention to keep growing this baby and allowing her to just get as big as she wants to get and just take up space, have her residency and be like, bam, I'm here. So I have a couple of uh, plant friends that I have sent cuttings um, of this baby too. And so for those, if you are watching, this is how those grow. This is how big they get. And this is what it looks like if you give it what it needs. And so the Philodendron Royal Queen is um, one of those plants that um, it's easy. All you have to do, it, it doesn't need a lot of humidity. They are from the tropics. And so as a result of coming from South America, um, they require humidity, but they don't need a lot of humidity. But the light is, is what it needs. It doesn't need direct sun because it'll burn the leaves, but the bright indirect light, it needs at least four hours of that a day in order for the leaves to get big and then maintain. And because of how hardy this stock is, the stem portion of the plant. In order for it to get like that, it needs the light, but it also needs the nutrients. And so these things are just easy. I, I absolutely love them. Um, if you, and I'm going to do a loft tour. I'm just uh, getting a couple other pieces the way I want them to be. And then I'm doing a loft tour where you could see the whole loft and how I have different plants in different sections of the loft. Because as you notice, when I'm doing videos, I'm in different sections of the loft uh, doing a presentation of the different plants. But uh, you're going to see I have not this specific plant, but I have at least five to six different burgundy patio, burgundy stem plants. I have this one, the Royal Queen. I have the Dark Lord. I have the Pink Princess, I have the Bloody Mary, and I have another hybrid uh, of plant. And the reason I have all of those differences is because I absolutely just love those plants. And what I love about it is, is that when you have a collection and you're looking at all of the different plants in the different sections and you see variegated plant here sitting next to an all green plant, sitting next to a plant that has the burgundy petioles and the burgundy stem, it gives you that jungle look because just to have a, 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 and don't get me wrong, if you love just having all variegated plants, do you? But in my collection, I like the jungle look. I like different plants for different reasons. 
And I don't want to just have um, all variegated plants, nor do I want to have just all green plants. And so since these plants speak to me, when you look at the oasis of the plants and you look at how they look next to each other, this plant helps to bring out the next plant and the all green plant helps to bring out this plant and the variegated plant helps to bring out another plant. And so as a result, these just absolutely beautiful. And so the philodendron royal queen, they are not expensive. You can get a cutting from anywhere from maybe $40 to $100, depending on how many leaves, how big the cutting is. Um, you can grow them from small little plugs and you can grow them from just one leaf cuttings. And so, and they root easy. They are some of the easiest plants as philodendrons are. But I just wanted to bring this plant again because this plant really speaks to me and you're gonna to continue to see me talk about these. You're gonna to continue to see me um, <laughs> featuring these because I want them to have their due. I don't see a lot of people and I'm by no means saying that I'm the only person that's talking about these plants, but I really don't see a lot of people, they'll talk about the pink princess because the pink princess is a part of this family, but you don't, you don't see a lot of people talking about these plants. And so I wanted to feature it and let you guys know about this plant if you don't know. They're hardy, they don't require a lot as I stated, they're beautiful and they will grow big. You don't have to allow it to grow big. If you don't give it the right light and the right nutrients, they will get leggy. So the leggy meaning between the, uh, the petioles and the next leaf that unfurls, it'll have more of the stem and then you will have another leaf to unfurl and then it will have just a lot of stem. And I prefer it to be where it's like this, where you have petio, a little stem, petio, a little stem, petio, a little stem, and continue to grow like that up into a tree. So this is the philodendron royal queen.